Mercer County Sheriff's deputies have started an investigation involving a high school teacher and a student. This is probably the most uh, severe case I've seen. Last week's winter storm caused millions of dollars in damage to marinas at Lake Cumberland. What are your options if you own a damaged boat? Not long after a fire destroyed their home, a Southern Kentucky mother says she had to deal with a serious medical emergency involving her children. This is WKYT News at 6. Good evening. Did a Central Kentucky teacher cross the line? Tonight, sheriff's deputies say they're investigating reports of inappropriate communications between a teacher and a student. The teacher works at Mercer County High School. Victor Puente talked to investigators about the case today. It is our top story at 6. Deputies were called yesterday morning around 11. They say parents of a high school student told them their daughter had been involved in what they're calling inappropriate communications with a male teacher. Detectives haven't said exactly how the two were communicating. And I don't want to jeopardize anything that we're, we're trying to put together or collect. But they did confirm they were seizing some electronics as part of the investigation. They aren't releasing that man's name because right now he's not facing any charges. Captain Elder says everyone involved with this case, that student, her parents, and that teacher, is cooperating with their investigation. So we'll just put everything together and deliver it to the next grand jury. Which is meeting in February. They could decide if that teacher will be charged. School officials released a statement saying they were committed to providing a safe environment for students, but couldn't comment on the investigation. Elder says that teacher has been told to stay away from the high school. There was a conversation between the superintendent's office and that employee, so I'm sure that they took the proper steps needed. He says those parents called them because they were keeping a close eye on how their daughter communicated. It's very important for the parents to be involved, know who they're talking to, know who they're communicating, check those messages uh, to, in fact, you know, prevent or detect if something bad is going on. In Mercer County, Victor Puente, WKYT. Investigators say at this point they don't believe any other students are involved. We're tracking a developing story right now here in Lexington. Firefighters rushed a driver to the hospital after a bad crash on the north side of town. Police say a car lost control on Georgetown Road, went down an embankment, and crashed head on into a tree along Parallel Road. Police are still working that scene. They tell us uh, that they believe that the driver may have had a medical emergency before that crash. We're told that his condition is life threatening. Days after the winter storm caused millions of dollars in damages, cleanup is now underway at a Pulaski County marina. A large crane began removing broken and twisted metal pieces today at Lee's Ford Marina. Hundreds of boat slips and boats were all damaged when heavy snow caused the canopies over them to collapse. The marina's manager says it could take months to clean up all the damage. And a lot of this metal on this side is underwater, and you can't get to the uh, the uprights or what we call the purlings that holds the metal up uh, to cut those free. And of course, the crane with it stretched out as far as it is, it can only lift so much. So, if you have a boat damaged by the winter storm, insurance adjusters say don't wait too long to file a claim. New at six, Miranda Combs has their advice for what you can do to get your boat back out on the water. For the people that own these boats, it's a difficult situation. They're getting the same view you are right now and nothing more. The ones I've talked to are not completely sure of what's happened to their own boat. Because it's not safe down there yet. Jim McClung has been insuring Lake Cumberland boats for 40 years. As far as the damage to the actual docks, uh, the boats at the docks, this is probably the most uh, severe case I've seen. This one here was, the bows are folded back on their support leg. And, and this uh, guy has been selling and working on them for 30 years. You get attached to the to the customer and to their boat, you know, so you kind of feel for them uh, about their loss. Harvey Maynard has been one of the few over the past few days trying to get the weight off roofs at Lee's Ford Marina. Once we got the snow off, the roof came up. Now his team is in recovery mode. And it'll just be a continuous movement of pulling them out and blocking them up on the lot. They've only been able to pull out a few so far. The weight of the snow obviously pushed the marina down on top of the boat and uh, bent the bimini top and stuff on it. This boat? So it's, it's probably one of the lucky ones. 
We'll be fine this spring. Maynard's concern is with the more severely damaged boats. Parts to fix them might take time to arrive if they're even made anymore at all. A lot of boats are, are sunk, you know, and some of them are just going to have, you know, damaged railings, windshields, and tops, but uh, some of that stuff is not going to be available if the boat's over five or six years old. Outlook Marine is one of a handful of businesses in the area able to work on the boats that are going to need it. There are, you know, a limited number of boat repair facilities. So, so you know, when you've got massive claims like this, it is going to slow down the process because there's, there's just not enough uh, availability of, uh, you know, repair facilities to, to take care of it. McClung's adjusters are on standby waiting for the water's hazards to melt away. He tells his customers don't wait for warmer weather. These claims won't fall on the marina, but on the boat owners, since this wasn't the marina's fault. With the number of claims that are going on right now, uh, they need to go ahead and get in line, so to speak, so that you know their, their claim will be ready to be processed as soon as the adjusters can get to the dock. Thanks, sir. And so they can get in line at shops like this one, because soon this will be gone and boaters will want to be out. A lot of people think more of the boat than they do uh, a lot of other things they have, for sure. <laughs> Boats don't require insurance unless there is a lien on the boat. A concern on the part of the marinas is that those with or without insurance might decide not to buy another boat. And following the fact that Lake Cumberland just got back their water level back up, that is not good news for the marinas now. And boy, spring will be here before you know it. The marinas really have a short amount of time to get everything ready to go. And I talked to Bobby Maynard, who we saw earlier, and he says he thinks that Lee's Ford will be up and ready by the spring. So we'll see. Let's hope so. Yes, good absolutely. news that would be. All right, Miranda, thank you. Mm -hmm. well, we saw more sunshine across the bluegrass today, but some wintry weather could move in overnight. Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey has an early look now at your forecast. Yeah, just a touch of some light snow and flurries scheduled to arrive late tonight and early tomorrow morning. Those temperatures, though, will drop off behind this front. Nothing like what we were talking about a week ago. This afternoon, very nice across the region. More in the way of some melting snow, upper 30s to low 40s as of now. And now that the sun has set, those temperatures will begin to drop off fairly quickly. Defender Radar Network, it is dry for now. This is not a big, big system that is coming our way. It's a cold front that is dropping in from the north. Most of the moisture is actually behind this front in the form of initially a little light rain or light snow shower action, then mainly some snow showers and flurries, and that's what scoots in and out of here very quickly late tonight into early tomorrow morning. That may have a touch of some uh, accumulating snows in the form of a sugar coating into parts of eastern Kentucky. Hour by hour forecast timing those bands of light snow into town early tomorrow morning. When I come back in a few minutes, we're going to focus on a weekend that is warmer, but that is also setting up a very active weather pattern. We've got spring-like temperatures meeting Arctic air, guys, and that's a no-no in the world of weather. And we'll show you what that brings to a wild-looking seven-day forecast here in about 10 minutes. New tonight, the jury is now deliberating the fate of a woman accused of killing her boyfriend in Scott County. The jury received the case in Melinda Turner's murder trial about noon today. It came after three days of testimony, followed by closing arguments this morning. Police say that Turner stabbed 26 year old Maxwell Pomeroy Jr. in their Georgetown home back in 2010. New tonight, Lexington firefighters battled a fire in a home that's more than a century old. The fire started this afternoon at a home on North Limestone. Firefighters say when the homeowner walked into the house, he saw smoke and immediately called for help. Firefighters say they were able to put out the fire before it caused too much damage. They say a fire in an older home can be more challenging for them. The balloon construction in some of these older houses, which is where the two by fours run from basement to, to attic, can present a problem as well because then it wants to go all the way to the attic on us. So we have to be very, very diligent. No one was injured in the fire. Firefighters say they also helped uh, save some valuable artwork in the home. They say the homeowner told them he left a space heater on in the home, but they're not sure if that caused the fire. Losing their home was bad enough, but a Knox County family was soon faced with another emergency. While staying with family members, a mother says her children ate something dangerous that made them very sick. Today, she talked to our Hillary Thornton about the close call. One week ago, the family's nightmare started here. Their home of three years destroyed, sending them to temporarily stay with her husband's family. On Monday, while cleaning up after a family breakfast, 
Emily Shelley knew something was not right. I said, Brandon, the kids are quiet. Can you go check on them? Finding three-year-old Boston and one-year-old Aubrey with an open bottle of prescription blood pressure medication. Really all prescription was from last April. Unsure if they actually ingested any, poison control suggested still going to the hospital. So I sent my daughter down in her bed to put my son's shoes on and in seconds she was unresponsive. By the time we got to the hospital, my daughter's heart had stopped and she wasn't breathing. Little Aubrey then put on life support at Corbin Baptist. 15 minutes later, her older brother Boston going through the same thing. And they're breathing because these machines are breathing for them. But we don't know what we can, what's going to happen. We'll, we'll have to take them to UK and hope for the best. Flying both children to the University of Kentucky. Did everything possible to make them live, and they did. I, mean, I believe it was God. I believe God wanted that to happen. Now out of the hospital and healthy. Don't trust child safety locks on prescriptions. My son's three years old. And he can't tie his shoes, he can barely open doors, but he got the lid off of that. The fire taking all of their possessions, leading to a series of events, bringing the right perspective into focus. It happened for a reason. I think that it was God showing us that there's so much more to this world and this life. In Knox County. We didn't lose everything. We've got everything we need. Hillary Thornton, WKYT. Well, they are certainly lucky. The family wants to thank their community for the outpouring of support and prayers. A bill that would raise Kentucky's minimum wage moved forward today. The House Labor and Industry Committee approved the bill. It now moves on to the full House. Right now, the minimum wage is $7.25 in Kentucky, but the bill would raise it to $10.10 an hour by 2018. Democratic House Speaker Greg Stumbo is sponsoring the bill. He says it would help many families around the state, especially single mothers. But business groups say a higher minimum wage would raise prices and cause some employers to cut jobs. Fayette County school leaders are trying a new program this year. They hope will make it easier to register children for kindergarten. That's next. And then, could there now be an answer for those unconfirmed bear sightings reported in Lexington's Jacobson Park? Get weather plus traffic with a WKYT weather app. Have the Defender Radar Network in the palm of your hand while checking your driving conditions for your commute on the same screen. Weather plus traffic on the WKYT weather app. During Quantro Cadillac's winter sales event, lease a new 2016 SRX equipped with luxury package, sunroof, leather heated memory seats, and much more for only $4.51 per month. You really can afford America's most luxurious crossover at Quantrell Cadillac. There's just something special that makes Simple Truth and Simple Truth Organic a natural part of every family. Great food is something all generations can enjoy together. And you'll find hundreds of smart choices, even brand new products for baby and your home. Just look for the Simple Truth green circle on the label. Simple Truth. Putting simple within reach. Right now, save up to $40 with digital coupons at simpletruth.com. Performance, reimagined. Style, reinvented. Sophistication, redefined. The all-new Lexus RX and RX Hybrid. Agile handling, available 12.3-inch navigation screen and panorama glass roof. Never has luxury been this expressive. Lease the 2016 RX 350 for 439 a month for 36 months. See your Lexus dealer. There's just something special that makes Simple Truth and Simple Truth Organic a natural part of every family. Great food is something all generations can enjoy together. And you'll find hundreds of smart choices, even brand new products for baby and your home. Just look for the Simple Truth green circle on the label. Simple Truth, putting simple within reach. Right now, save up to $40 with digital coupons at simpletruth.com. When you play Kentucky lottery games like Cash Ball, college students all over Kentucky cash in. Fueling imagination. Funding education.
It's official. Green's Toyota of Lexington is Kentucky's number one Toyota dealer for the fourth year in a row. We're celebrating all month long with amazing deals on our entire inventory. 0% APR on Toyota's most popular models. 1.9% APR on all certified pre-owned Toyotas. Plus, save $5,000 off MSRP on new Toyotas with our Green Saver coupon. Come in and let us show you our appreciation for making us Kentucky's number one Toyota dealer. Great people, great cars, great greens. Mamma Mia, Broadway's smash hit musical featuring 22 of ABBA's greatest hits. Mamma Mia, you already know you're gonna love it. February 4th through 7th at the Lexington Opera House. Have something that needs investigating? Email us or call the WKYT Investigates tip line. During Quantrell Cadillac's winter sales event, lease a new 2016 SRX equipped with luxury package, sunroof, leather heated memory seats, and much more for only $4.51 per month. You really can afford America's most luxurious crossover at Quantrell Cadillac. Fayette County school leaders are already looking ahead to next fall's kindergarten class, and there will be something new online with the registration. For the first two weeks of February, school leaders will test the new registration program in five elementary schools before rolling it out district-wide. They hope it will make it easier for parents to sign up their children. We wanted to keep it small so that we can work through any kinks, kind of learn the, the, the frustrations or the positive things that, that parents actually experience while doing the, the online pilot. The first elementary schools taking part in online registration are Breckenridge, Lansdowne, Picadome, Sandersville, and Harrison. Has the mystery finally been solved? Tonight, there may be an explanation for those unconfirmed bear sightings in Lexington. As we first told you yesterday at 6, city leaders say they received two calls from people this week claiming they saw bears around the dog park area of Jacobson Park. Wildlife leaders investigated but couldn't find any sign of bears. This afternoon, Mayor Jim Gray tweeted that a farmer told the city he has some black Angus calves near the dog park, and that might explain the reported bear sightings. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Well, out there right now, we are dealing with a temperatures that are beginning to drop after a very nice weather day across central and eastern Kentucky. Can't really complain about a day like this with thermometers in the 40s and plenty of sunshine toward the end of January. Though in the seven-day forecast, you're probably going to find a lot to complain about. Right now, Lexington, Hamburg Pavilion, nice little pink sky over top of us, 41 degrees. Feels like 35, though, on a warmer wind that is coming from the southwest at 9 miles per hour. Southwesterly wind boosts the temperatures up. Northwesterly wind, like what you see behind a cold front, will knock temperatures down. That front is loaded up for bear, and it is working its way on toward the south and southeast. Has a little juice coming in behind it, mainly in the form of some snow showers and flurries. So we get some flakes to highlight the forecast later on tonight. Mild air this weekend will then bring thunderstorms in here early next week, and then Arctic air is set to come in behind that. That's right, I'm talking about Arctic air, thunderstorms near record highs all in the same forecast and some cases within 24 to 36 hours of one another. Defender Radar Network, nothing out there now. When you join me tonight at 11 o'clock, chances are we'll see a few flakes showing up across parts of northern Kentucky. End of the day tomorrow, a few snow flurries in the morning. A sugar coating of snow is possible anywhere across central or eastern Kentucky, mainly across the east and southeast, where it may slick an upper road first thing tomorrow morning. By the afternoon, it's breezy. Sun is coming back out. Temperatures are into the 30s. Let's go through the evening and overnight. We see that little band of some light snow and snow showers early tomorrow morning. Temperatures behind that seasonally cold, and tomorrow evening, we are on the chilly side for a night out on the town. Saturday, cue the 50s. Here we go, 50 to 55 most areas, 55 to 60 showing up into southern Kentucky. We can handle that, especially on a weekend. Sunday is a warm day as well. It's going to have a little more in the way of some clouds and a late day shower as possible. Better chance for some rain coming on into town Sunday night and into Monday. This is part of that active pattern that we're talking about. Warm air across the Ohio Valley and points to the south. This is your Groundhog Day. Warm air versus cold air. Chances are in between that you're going to get a healthy storm system that may have a blizzard on the back side of it, may have severe thunderstorms out ahead of this. And as we go through your Groundhog Day Tuesday, chances are we get in on some very gusty winds, a line of thunderstorms that races across Kentucky. Possibility that some of those storms could be strong 
or even severe. Then we fast forward into Wednesday. Forget about anything spring like. Temperatures are tumbling all day long. Could end the day with some snow showers and some flurries out there. We were showing you this map a little bit ago, but it bears showing yet again. Watch the numbers. This is an hour by hour wind gust forecast. I know we're five days away, so this will fluctuate over the next few days, but it's an indication of just how strong of a system we may be facing. Tuesday into Tuesday night. That has winds gusting greater than 50 and 60 miles per hour. That's what happens when you have such a big temperature spike. We have a shot at 70 degrees on Groundhog Day. Maybe, just maybe, the warmest Groundhog Day ever. And then by Wednesday afternoon, 24 hours later, temperatures have dropped nearly 40 degrees with some snow showers filling the air. It gets even colder as the week wears on. But you really keep an eye on, was it Tuesday night? T Tuesday into Tuesday night could be the possibility of some very active thunderstorms and high winds. All right. Thanks, Chris. You bet. UK women's team right back on the court tonight. Well, that's right. The Cats looking to follow up their victory over Tennessee with a win over Vandy tonight at the Coliseum. And has losing at Auburn made the difference for Cal's team? Stay with us. That's next in sports. WKYT First Alert Weather is brought to you by Lexington Athletic Club. Think of it as a seven-seat theater for an action-packed thriller. The all-new Audi Q7. <gasps> Ooh, somebody's in trouble. They smelled bacon and cheddar and ranch on these curly fries. Oh, ho, 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 ho. and now they're offering them as part of the mix and match two for five dollars deal at Arby's. Oh, man. Arby's is going to be so mad. Arby's, we have the meat. The candidate from Cartown Kia can give people $8,000 off new Kia Optimus. What can you offer? Well, we have. Yesterday's coffee. <laughs> There's no debate. Get $8,000 off MSRP on all select new 2015 Kia Optimas in stock at Car Town Kia. Take home a new 2016 Kia Sorento SUV for only $189 per month. And if you have a job bringing home $350 per week, we want to approve your credit. We can do credit. We don't do credit. Don't debate it. Get to Car Town Kia. I've been to a lot of funerals. But the end of life celebration at Clark Legacy Center was different. The mood was upbeat, and it brought back all the happy times I had with my friend Jim, and the impact that he had on my life. It was a real celebration, and it made people feel better at a difficult time. I know it did for me. Call us to plan your end of life celebration. Home. Home is about comfort. And that is exactly what we create. When you partner with us, you team with experts, not only in the latest technologies, but uniquely skilled in turning know-how into wow. A home that starts when you are ready and lets you know what's happening. A home that works for you. Not just any home, your home. Get your free in-home consultation today. Bluegrass Home Entertainment. Are you ready to be wowed? There's just something special that makes Simple Truth and Simple Truth Organic a natural part of every family. Great food is something all generations can enjoy together. And you'll find hundreds of smart choices, even brand new products for baby and your home. Just look for the Simple Truth green circle on the label. Simple Truth, putting simple within reach. Right now, save up to $40 with digital coupons at simpletruth.com. Technology entire countries want to get their hands on. If they could ever catch you. The all new Audi Q7. After crushing Missouri last night, Kentucky now looks ahead to fourth rank Kansas Saturday in Lawrence, and the Cats are playing their best basketball of the season. Coaches will always say losses are never good, but since losing at Auburn 11 days ago, John Calipari seems to have the kind of team he's been calling for. If we hadn't lost that game, we, I may not have been able to get this team to think more desperate, to play with a refuse-to-lose attitude. It may not have happened. We would never know because we lost the game. So we just 
keep going, taking it, taking it game by game. You go through a season, there are ups and downs. I've done this 30 years now. My whole job is, are we playing our best in March? That's, that's what I do. Kansas next out in Lawrence, SEC Big 12 Challenge. It'll be Saturday night at 7 on ESPN. Tonight at the Coliseum, the 50th meeting between Kentucky and Vandy in women's basketball. Cats have won nine straight over Vandy. Coach Matthew Mitchell says the main emphasis in practice this week has been on defensive positioning, something his young team is still learning. If they'll just get in the right position and hustle, good things will happen for us. But we've got to be, you know, sharper than we've been, and it's just hard with an inexperienced group, but can't worry about... Uh, Anything other than trying to keep them really positive and, and um, really hungry for learning. Junior college quarterback Steven Johnson among the early enrollees for UK football. Quarterback who comes in from College of the Desert in Southern California. What he wants to do is put on about 20 pounds in fall camp, taking him up to about 210. So he is eating a lot. Uh, not whatever I want, but uh, definitely eat a lot. Uh, get a lot of calories, a lot of carbs, a lot of protein in me, and the right food. Uh, so how many meals a day do you, do you eat? Um, I eat about maybe five meals a day, yeah. um, along with five snacks a day. <laughs> so, so you eat ten times a day? I do. Ten times a day. The boys all lay getting underway today. Lexington Christian taking on Newport Central Catholic. And the Eagles breaking the half-court pressure. Kyle Rode misses, but Trey King there for the putback. He had 16. Carter Hendrickson spots up from behind the arc. He finished up with nine today. And near the end of the quarter off the miss, Newport Central Catholics Ben Wire the board outlets to Brennan Hall. And he nails the shot to beat the buzzer. LCA is knocked out 69 to 48 the final. Earlier today, it's Danville and Shawnee out of Louisville. First quarter, Danville's Jared Sutherland drives it from the wing and scores. Game tied early on. More from the ads. Spencer McKinney, three of his six from distance today. He had 20 points. Jacoby Turner misfires. But John Rooney is there for the board and the bucket. Rooney had 15 on the day. And Danville opens up play with a win, 75 to 43. More highlights from the All A tonight. Sam Amber, back to you. Thank you, Rob. A final check of your first alert weather forecast is next. Then on the CBS Evening News, an update on the Zika virus. Will there soon be a vaccine? Hardy's presents the Red, White, and Boom Music Festival 2016. Jason Aldean, Church, Florida Georgia Line, Thomas Ross, Cole Swindell, Casey Musgraves, Red, White, and Boom.com. This Friday, Ashley Furniture Home Store's doors open at 4 p.m. with massive savings through midnight. For eight hours only, take up to 25% off or get five years no interest with no minimum purchase and no money down. Friday only, Ashley Furniture Home Store. This is home. Win $10,000 at Toyota on Nicholasville and pay off your holiday bills. Test drive any new Toyota before March 1st and you'll be entered to win $10,000. No purchase necessary. Get 0% for 60 months. New Corollas, only $149 a month. New Camrys, $169 a month. And you could win $10,000 at Toyota. The big Toyota store. Where price sells cars. More specials at Toyota on Nicholasville.com. Did your family set a goal to become healthier in the new year? One family did and lost 300 pounds at Ageless. Bruce lost 92 pounds, Adam lost 64 pounds, and Catherine lost 151 pounds. For a medically supervised affordable weight loss solution, call Ageless today for a free consultation. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Lexington Overstock Warehouse is having our huge annual floor model sale. Don't miss this opportunity to grab new furniture and mattresses at a fraction of store prices. Save up to 80% off select display models. Come early to get your best selection. LexingtonOverstockWarehouse.com. Lease a sensational all-new 2016 Volvo XC90 for only $4.99 per month at Quantrell Volvo. Are you happy with your bathroom? 
I wasn't. But for years, I didn't do anything about it. Like many people, I thought I didn't have the money until I learned about the brilliant solution from Bathfitter. Bathfitter puts a new bathtub right over your old one. Isn't that amazing? Bathfitter will measure and make you a new custom bathtub that they install right over your existing one with beautiful matching walls. That means you don't have to rip out your old tub so there's no demolition or ridiculous costs. And they do it all in just one day. That's my favorite part. Plus, you get to choose everything. Book a free consultation and find out for yourself. Here's a before and after photo. This is a gorgeous acrylic tub that fit right over the old one. And only Bath Fitter has seamless walls, which guarantee a watertight fit. When you change your tub, you change your bathroom, and that can change your life. I know because I did it. Call today or learn more at bathfitternow.com. The Madness begins at 4 p.m. this Friday at Ashley Furniture Home Store. For eight hours only, save 10, 15, 20, up to 25% off store-wide. Midnight Madness is back this Friday only, 4 p.m. till midnight. Ashley Furniture Home Store. This is home. shot all lit up there of Moorhead State University. Great skyline there. Yeah, it looks good. You see a lot of snow mm -hmm, still, still on the ground there. Those piles, it'll take a little while to get rid of them. Over the next couple of days, though, temperatures after tomorrow begin to trend up. We may be close to 60 as we go into the weekend. A little touch of some uh, snow showers and flurries tomorrow morning. Watch early next week, guys. We make a run at 70 on Groundhog Day. That's not a good thing. Could be talking about some big thunderstorms. You're going strong. You nailed that snowstorm and Let's see what we can do next yeah. week. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you in London.